Uh. I can't be living off jacks. Burn the sass when I'm stressed. EPE what I rap. In the ground shit. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Chosen One with two guns. Repping that EMZ Bitch TV. First thing first, y'all. Make sure you smash that sub button. Like, share, comment. All the above. All that good stuff. Now check it, check it, check it. Today's goofy of the day goes to Tiny T.I.'s wife, man. Now check it. T.I.'s wife, right, was chilling. She went up for some drinks, riding around in the Lamborghini truck. You feel me? She went inside the bar, and she must have forgot to lock her doors. Simple mistake costed her over a million dollars worth of jewelry. I'm talking about she had... She had she had damn near almost probably half of all the jewelry she probably had in her whole career in that one bag. Like, damn, you feel me? I'm gonna read to y'all what the report said real quick. This is crazy. All right, here we go. More than seven hundred fifty thousand worth of jewelry was stolen from R&B singer Tiny. In the night of Atlanta, including her wedding ring, wedding ring from husband T.I. See, including a wedding ring. I'm telling you, that wedding ring alone probably cost T.I. like 1.5 million. So, matter of fact, let me take it back. She lost over, she must have lost at least close to 2 million. A wedding ring? You telling me T.I. got her a wedding ring under 1 million? Nah. Rappers that big of a caliber don't. Buy wedding rings under one million, at least one point five and up. So think about it: the wedding ring at least one point five. Let's just throw another five hundred and whatever Rolexes and pinky rings and bracelets and ankle bracelets and all that. You feel me? The reality TV star was having drinks with her friend at a Midtown bar when she returned to her Lamborghini around nine forty-five p.m. and noticed her bag was missing. Now notice how. There's nothing in here that says her car was broken into. It's just missing a bag. Like, bruh. You feel me? For respect for T.I. Because I rock with T.I. I'm not even about to go in on her like that. But you definitely getting goofier today, though. You know, even if T.I. was here himself, he'd be like, yeah, you deserve goofier today. Like, come on. You're going to leave your Lamborghini. First of all, you in the Lamborghini truck. Any any street dude that sees a Lamborghini truck anywhere is going to try to check to see if the door is open. I'm talking about a street dude that, that don't got it like that. You feel me? A street dude that don't got it like that, that's out there grinding, you know what I'm saying? Just looking for that next dollar. Happens to see a Lamborghini truck. You feel me? They're going to at least check the door to see if it open or not. Cause they, think about it. That's like a what? A million dollar vehicle, right? So if that's a million dollar vehicle, right? You got to think about it. What are the chances that if you get in that million dollar vehicle, you telling me you ain't going to find at least one thing in there that's probably going to be worth 20, 30 grand? You might even find an envelope with money. You feel me? Like, that's way, you, your odds are way better getting in that Lamborghini than it is getting into a Saturn. You understand? So yeah, man. And yeah, that, that's it. Doesn't say nothing about breaking. It says here that uh, that they got back from the, the police station from the report. Says here that it was watches, earrings, and then the wedding ring. Yeah, like I said, she had the whole bag. You know, uh, famous people they like to travel with this little. It's like a little Gucci. They have Gucci and Louis Vuitton briefcase that that they made just to hold your watches and jewelry you feel me and I'm pretty sure she had one of them boxes that probably held all types of different types of jewelry in that box that person whoever that was ended up having the sweetest lick you feel me now that's not a lick that's a, a hit I'm just gonna call it a hit that's a sweet hit right there you know what I'm saying think about it ain't nobody got hurt you ain't that whoever that was he ain't he ain't had to pull no he ain't had to pull no blicky out not even a shot ring like nothing you feel me and you know the police ain't about to be looking at no surveillance surveillance 
The police is not about to be looking through no surveillance for tiny jewelry. You know what I'm saying? The police looking at you like you, you know what I'm saying? Like goofy, like they not, you know what I'm saying? You know, there are, it's a ride for that jewelry. Just leave, that's all I'm saying. Only way she could get that jewelry back is that if whoever took it ends up doing something else stupid and they get caught up doing something else and by being caught up doing that other thing they find all that other stuff that they took from tiny that's the only way she might be able to get that back but the longer it takes the longer she not gonna get it back you feel me the chances are they probably melting it all down because you already know half of Atlanta probably looking for that. They probably hit up every spot like, yo, look, look, look. If somebody walking in there with, you know what I'm saying? And plus, a lot of people don't know this, but pawn shops, when somebody walk in there with over $10, $15,000 worth of jewelry, you, do you know that automatically they got to call They gotta call the Jakes? They got to call the police. The police have to automatically come and they got to ask you questions like, where did you get it? You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. It's crazy, but yeah. After a certain price that, that that is worth And depending how you look You feel me? Like if I walk in a pawn shop With a watch that's worth 50 grand Even 20, 15 grand Yeah, they're going to call the They're going to call the police on me Definitely Now if it's somebody Let's say white Blue hair, blonde uh, uh, Blue hair I said blue hair Blue eye, blonde hair The chances are They probably not going to call it Jake's and depending how that person is dressed, especially if that person comes in with a with a a, a suit and a bow tie or something, they and them they be like, nah, he he probably look like that's his. But let me go on there. They gonna be like, nah, nah, you, what's up? Where you got it? You know what I mean? So it depends. So there you have it, man. That's 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 a that's a that's a hit, B. That's a hit. Even though she got money, Ti got money. Still. Nobody want to be losing out on millions of jewelry. Because you got to think about it. This is jewelry that most likely T.I. got his wife. And I'm not talking about the wedding ring. Just imagine. You know, every piece of jewelry that was taken probably meant something to her. You feel me? Probably every piece of jewelry was probably like a certain point of their life. Growing up together. Having a family. You understand? It's not just money. It's probably what it meant to them that really hurt. You feel me? So don't think, ah, they rich people, they not worrying about it. Nah, it's not about the money. It's about what what it came, what 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 was meant with it. You know what I'm saying? Like what was meant behind receiving that. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the money with them. With with somebody like me, yeah, because I'm not rich. I'm like, oh man, I, damn, bro, I lost out on two point three million, man. I gotta hit something up tonight. Nah, you feel me, T? I be like, damn, mama, man, man. Damn, man, man, what I told you about leaving the, the car on lot, man. Damn, man. Damn. He's going to be tight for like about a week. Don't get over it. And little by little, she's going to have all that stuff back. You know what I'm saying? But still took one loss. That's one hell of a loss. I'm telling you that. T.I. is definitely upset. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, it's not only about the money. It's about the value of how it was brought to you. You know what I mean? Could have been like somewhere in like, I don't know, Honolulu or something. And let's say he was in Honolulu, he just got down and proposed. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all was somewhere like in Italy or something and you saw a bracelet. And you know, let me get this bracelet since it's my first time in Italy. Now that means, that means something. That means that the first time you and her went to Italy, y'all got that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I mean, man. Anyway, EMZ. Gang. Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hope y'all like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, and drop some comments. Also, for those who want to show love and support the EMZ TV, just cash app, PayPal, and Venmo located in the description box in every video. Chosen one, two guns, EMZ, don't forget the TV, 100.